So in today's video, we are going to solve the question which was recently and cost was around 893 rated for GVZ2. So first, let us understand the problem statement. So the problem, so the problem name is B walk away. So I think so the problem statement is pretty much confusing. So I will I will make you understand that you will understand the problem statement with an example. So let me take this example and show you the what is the problem statement really is. So here the here this is an example. So what problem has said that we will be giving n points. For example, in this case we have n is equal to 10. So what the problem has said that we will have n points. For example, in this case we have n is equal to 10. So we will have at most 10 points. We have, we will have 10 points. So I will I will I, I have marked 10 points like this. 10 points at like this. And at, at every point we have a bench, sitting bench, a bench we, from in which we can sit. And uh, the problem has said that there will be a f there will be m cookie seller for example in this case my m is equal to 4 so there will be 4 cookie seller at the park and these all benches are also in the park so there will be 4 cookie seller at this point so in so for example in this case i have a cookie seller at point 2 cookie seller at point 8 cookie seller at point 9 and cookie seller at point 10 so this at all these points we have a cookie sellers so now here come another guy in our story. So the name of the guy is Pataya. So what problem has said that Pataya is is, is on jogging and she will jog and she will start jogging from 1 and she will jog till point n. For example in this case my n is n. So, we'll start, so she will start from 1 and she will end at 10. Now what problem has said that she will be carrying a bag which will which will be having infinite supply of cookies. For example, this is a bag, and and this bag is having infinite supply of cookies. So now, pro pro problem has said that she will eat the cookies during her during her running. So there, but there are conditions on which she will eat the cookies. For example, uh, first she read this statement. So what is this? What the problem said that if Pataya has not eaten a cookie, she will immediately cookie. She will immediately take cookie from his bag and eat it. So, so what this statement tries to say is that at first point she will always eat a cookie because this is the point where the pataya has not eaten any cookie which means at first point she will always eat a cookie whether there is a cookie seller or not so next is that, that if a cookie seller is present at the ith bench then she will immediately buy from the she, then she will immediately buy cookie from cookie seller and eat it for example in this case at point 2 cookie seller is there so she will buy cookie from the seller and she, she will immediately eat it the third point is that if if d minutes have passed since pataya has eat, eaten her last cookie then she will immediately take the cookie from his bag and eat it for example in this case at first point she will immediately eat the cookie then at point two she will eat the cookie because cookie seller is there then at for example in this case for example in this case my k is equal to nine so let it be three for for example so let it be three for this example only so at this point she has eaten the cookie then she will come to this point then she will not eat her cookie because only one minute has passed since pataya is eating eat her last cookie then she will not eat cookie at this point then at this point she will also need it she will, she will also not, not eat the cookie because only two minutes have passed since pataya ate her last cookie then came then came to this point then three minutes have passed because because last she ate the cookie at point two then i am i am on a point five so three minutes have already passed since three one two three so three minutes have already passed since Taya ate her last cookie then she will immediately take cookie from her bag and eat it then she will go eat one cookie here then she will move to this this point but she will not eat because only one minute have passed then at this point then she will not eat because only one minute have passed because only two minutes have passed but at this point the three minutes will be passed but also there is a cookie seller so she will buy from from this cookie seller and eat it then this point then she at this point she will also buy because there is a cookie seller then at this point she will also buy because there is a cookie seller so in total she will eat one two three four five six six so in total she will eat three cookies but that there is a catch the problem is that that we have authority that we can remove any one cookie seller from the from the park for example in this case let us take an example for example if i remove this cookie seller for example if i remove this cookie seller then what are the number of cookies she will eat or if i remove this cookie seller what are the number of cookies she will eat similarly we have to, uh, similarly we have to tell 
what is the min minimum number of cookies but i will it if we can remove at most one cookie seller from this point from the benches so this is a, this is a, this is the whole problem and and what problem has archer to do after finding the minimum number of cookies taya will eat after removing one one cookie seller we have to tell the number of cookie seller which will be giving which will be giving the same num same number of minimum cookies on removing them also for example if for example if i remove one if i remove a cookie seller and i am getting x cookies as a minimum then i have to tell whether there exists exist any cookie seller b or c which will be also giving minimum as x so i have to count them also so this is the whole problem first i have to tell the what is the minimum number of cookies then i have to tell the the minimum number the then i have to tell the number of cookie seller which will be which will be giving me same number of cookies after removing them which is the minimum possible so now let us begin to the problem intuition or solution intuition so solution is pretty much easy why i am saying this because it is a kind of brute force thing so what what is the problem only what does the what what does the problem ask us to do then i will i will always try to remove every cookie seller and try to calculate if i remove this cookie seller then what will be the number of cookies she will eat for example if i remove this then what is the number of cookies she will eat in this interval in this interval and this interval because because in the remaining cookie seller she will always eat the cookies because because she will she will ne never skip a cookie seller which is selling a cookie and she will not eat it she will always eat the cookie if there is a cookie seller for example in this case i have removed this then then only point is that the she will eat at this point because it's a first one and at most she will and at most she will eat at this point only then at at most she will eat at this point only then i will calculate the number of cookies she will eat in this interval having my minimum having my k is equal to whatever k is given for example in this k is equal to 9 then this then she will only eat one cookie because because the number of because the number of minutes have will not, never increase 9 in this case so let it be 4 so 4 4 4 what are the number of cookies she will eat in this interval so in this interval she will at most eat two cookies because first at this point because first at this point then for after 4 minutes 1 2 3 4 then at this point then if she came to this point she already made a cookie seller then at in this interval there then in this interval she will at most eat only two cookies so for so for them for, for and this procedure i have to repeat for every cookie by removing every cookie seller for example if i remove this cookie seller for example if i remove this cookie seller then i have to calculate number of cookies eat in this interval eat in this interval and then it then it is eaten in this interval so now next i will remove this cookie seller then i will check number of cookies eat in this interval number of cookies eat in the number of cookies eat in this interval and at more and at last number of cookies eat in this interval having my respective k so this is all this is all the problem intuition was so the implementation is pretty much tricky so i if i show you how, how i will calculate so first i will calculate the number of cookies eaten in eaten in intervals it eaten eaten with all the cookies that are present for example i i will calculate number of cookies eaten in this interval in this interval this interval and this interval then so for example that it will be x so x is the number of cookies which will be eaten if every cookie seller is present So now what I will do? I will simply brute force check, brute forcefully check the question solution. For example, if I remove this cookie seller, then what I will do? I will simply, then I will simply calculate the number of cookies eaten in this interval, and eaten in this interval minus number of cookies eaten in this interval and number of cookies eaten in this interval. So this is the whole problem solution. Let me repeat it again. So for example. in this case if i remove this cookie seller then i what i will do for example if my number of cookie cookies eaten by all the cookie all the cookies seller present be x so x is the number of cookies which she will eat if all the cookie seller is present so now if i remove this cookie seller then what i will do i will simply calculate number of cookies eaten in this interval and number of cookies eaten in this interval number of cookies eaten in this, this interval So now what I will do? I will simply add number of cookies in this interval. For example, let it be A, and let it be B, and let it be C. So if I remove this this cookie seller, then my number of cookies eaten will be x plus A minus B 
माइनस ही सो इफ यू इफ यू कॉल मी हाउ इज इज कमिंग दिस इज सिंपल बिकॉज माइ एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ कुकीज इफ ऑल इफ ऑल द इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन 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 माई एक्स माई दिस बी इज प्रेजेंट दिस इज सी इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट बिकॉज इफ आई पार्टीशन माई आई दिस माई पार्टीशन बिकॉज माई एक्स इज कंटेनिंग नंबर ऑफ कुकीज इटेन इन दिस इंटरवल दिस इंटरवल दिस इंटरवल एंड दिस इंटरवल सो बट बट इज द एक्स कंटेनिंग सो बट आई विल सिंपली रिमूव बी एंड सी फ्रॉम इट बिकॉज इट इज ऑनली बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी कंटेनिंग इन मैक्स एंड आई विल इज एट एट दिस बिकॉज आई एम रूविंग दिस दिस कुकीज हेदर विच विल बी विच विल ब्रेड ऑन बी एंड सी इन टू ए और आई विल सेट इफ आई रिमूव दिस कुकीज हेदर देन माई इंटरवल विल बी लुकिंग लाइक माई लास्ट कुकीज हेदर माई लास्ट कुकीज हेदर एंड माई नेक्स्ट कुकीज हेदर सो आई विल सिंपली फाइंड नंबर ऑफ कुकीज विच विल बी सॉल्व इन दिस इन बाई रिमूविंग दिस इंटरवल और द नंबर ऑफ कुकीज प्रेजेंट एट दिस पॉइंट और इफ आई इफ आई रिमूविंग माई करंट कुकीज हेदर देन आई विल चेक इफ बाई रिमूविंग दैट कुकीज हेदर वट आर द नंबर ऑफ कुकीज शी विल इट at which at she will eat if my atmos cook is at at the left and at the right so if 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 if, if a has a number of cookies if a is a number of cookies she will eat in this interval then i will simply add up and minus the number of cookies cookies either number of cookies she will eat in b and in c so i will simply add up add up add up this is my answer and i calculate next so by by calculating this value for all the numbers or all the cookies are i will simply store in my minimum answer and and i will calculate my minimum answer for example if i show you the code the code is pretty much easy for example in this case i am simply taking my input i will check if my if my zero because my because she will always is because for example if i uh, i am checking if my जीरो पोजिशन इज नॉट कंटेनिंग जीरो पोजिशन इज नॉट कंटेनिंग कोकस एदर बिकॉज एट फर्स्ट पॉइंट शी विल ऑलवेज इट अ कुकी सो आई विल सिंपली एड जीरो एट माई बिगनिंग इफ 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 एट वन माई कोकस एदर इज नॉट देयर नाउ बट आई विल डू आई विल सिंपली चेक आई विल सिंपली कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ कुकीज शी विल ईड इफ नन ऑफ द कुकी सैलरी कुकी सैलर इज रिमूव सो हाउ आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग दिस it is simple because my a is containing number of cookies seller so i will simply check i will simply i will simply take the upper bound upper bound the upper bound of the difference between the two cookie cookies seller by dividing it by d so be, because by f is returning only the number of cookies will it in an interval and i can, i can easily calculate it by taking the upper bound by dividing the difference by d so this is the number of cookies will it if none of the cookies seller is removed So now what I will do? I will simply brute forcefully calculate. For example, I will simply simply brute forcefully calculate the number of cookies she will eat in the interval i my a at i minus one and a at i plus one because I am removing the current a i, the current uh, cookie seller which is a a of i. So I will simply calculate what is the number of cookies she will eat in the interval a at i minus one and a at i plus one, and I will simply subtract the number of cookies she will eat in the in, in the interval a at i minus one comma a at i. And a at i comma a at i plus one. Then my new answer will be my the my old answer plus my current. Because here I am simply adding my because here I am sim simply adding a minus b plus c to my x. Because here in this case my a is this because which which is the number of cookies she will eat in by removing that and this is this these two are both which are which are already present in my or which are which is already present in my answer. Or answer I could say when my none of the cookies are was removed, so I will simply store in my new answer and I will take the minimum. So my next step, how many cookies are there, which is giving the same output by removing them. So I will simply calculate it again. My answer, I will simply submit this whole process again. I will calculate it and I will calculate. If my new answer is equal to my answer, which is which is showing the main minimum answer, then I will simply increase my count and at that I will simply print my answer and count. So this is the whole problem notation. I hope you get it. So if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.